You know, the Bible tells us in 1 Peter, he said, Think it not strange when fiery trials come as if like something crazy is coming upon you, basically. Like, like don't be shocked when all hell starts to break loose or when you face something that's unexplainable. When you face a, a, a situation and you're going through something consistently or you're going through a, a period of trial and, and suffering and you're looking around you and you're like, man, other people don't seem to be going through this. But the scripture tells us that we should rejoice. Like literally it says to rejoice at the fact that you get to partake in something that Jesus Christ of Nazareth partook in, which is suffering. Because we know that the trial is working patience in us is creating in us character that those who don't endure trials, those who don't be obedient to God and allow the, the trials of life to teach them these life lessons that create character and work patience in us, they won't be able to partake in this joy that comes on the other side of the lesson and the character building and the reward. The Bible talks about how when we endure, we'll receive a crown of life. Like the scripture is not only telling us not to think it's strange, don't be frustrated by it, but in fact, rejoice in it. So I just want to encourage you who's going through your trial, man, rejoice in it. You get to be like your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. There's always good.